Hey everyone, what's up? It's Denver Pro here, and welcome to another episode of the RPG Maker MV uh, Noob's Guide tutorial thing. And uh, this episode will be covering the database, the Actors tab in the database. So then as you can see here, we have four uh, very default uh, actors here, which come with default weapons, um, default classes, and so on. So, um, let's go ahead and change the maximum. We are going to increase uh, by one, so we have a total of five. Uh, we're going to name our new character Alfred, like Alfred the Chicken. Anywho, uh, the nickname will actually be showed on the status screen uh, when you go to status and whatnot. <laughs> so let's give his nickname, let's give his nickname Hero, let's, let's just call him Hero. Now we're going to choose one of the default classes, but when you make a new class this is where you would change it. Uh, the next episode will be covering the classes though. So the initial level, this is the level that the character will start on. Uh, this is the level that he basically uh, begins on as soon as he joins the party, if you should choose to use the initialize option. So we're going over that when we cover events. Max level here, uh, this is the maximum level that the character can reach. Now Yanfly, I believe, has a script uh, that will allow you to kind of go past the level 99 limit. So that's pretty nice. The profile uh, is something that will be shown on the status screen as well. So we can give him a little backstory, say, a young warrior who once battled off a majestic, battled off a powerful creature. There you go. So uh, the images, here's where you can choose the face set of, uh, of your actor. So we're gonna choose him, uh, let's choose, let's go to people, I think it was him, right? Is people one? Yes. So people one for the face, people one for the, uh, the the sprite graphic here, and we don't. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a people battler, so he's just gonna look like this guy or girl. <laughs> okay, so now the weapon type. Um, this is the initial weapon that he'll start with. Uh, and shield. We have head, body, and we have accessory. There is a way to create more than just this. But we'll go over that in another episode as well. The traits over here will allow you um, to kind of modify what um, his effect rates are. So physical attacks do, if you wanted to do half, you would do 50%. If you wanted to do double, you would do 200%, stuff like that. Uh, you can also do all kinds of other stuff here. Debuff rate, stat rate. The debuff rate basically means like uh, if, if, if an enemy uses a spell on you that debuffs your uh, HP, this is the percentage of it actually being successful on said actor. State rate is basically the same except um, with states instead of like stats. State resist uh, will allow the character complete to completely resist being affected by any of these states. Such as poison, uh, paralyze, or anything like that. Perimeter, uh, this stuff, okay, this right here will basically uh, change the percentage of his health. So right now, by default, he has whatever health that the class has. So if you want him to be a tank, uh, but you want him to have the exact same class as another person, but you don't want him to have the same stats, you can multiply that by 200%, um, percent, which would be double. And basically, that means he will have twice the amount of health as someone with the exact same class as him. You can do the same with uh, any other stat as well. Uh, EX Perimeter. Basically, this allows you to kind of modify uh, what he has so you can have him you can have him always have a, uh, a Regen effect rather than be HP MP or TP you can have him um, you have a certain percent of countering uh, Reflecting magic evading magic critical evasion uh, critical rate evasion rate and hit rate the uh, SP perimeter basically allows you to change uh, similar things, but other um, things as well like uh, let's see target rate he'll be targeted more guard effect uh, which I, I think the, I think guard effect kind of uh, does I think guard effect kind of like will give you a more defense when you're defending recovery effect I think uh, it, it amplifies like how much you you recover from either an item or a spell I believe so recovery rate uh, does magic, I believe, and then pharmacology does items. So like if you uh, if you heal with an item, I think pharmacology will alter how much of that, uh, how much percentage of that you get healed. MP cost rate, you can actually make him use half or double MP. Uh, TP charge rate, 
uh, determines how fast he charges up his TP. Physical damage, uh, and it, the rest of this is kind of self-explanatory, really. Uh, floor damage, basically, is where if you step on a poison tile, such as, um, which I'll be going over in the future as well, uh, basically, there are tiles that you walk on on the map that can damage your character. That's what this changes. And finally, experience. So he can actually have a multiplied experience, um, like, than someone else would get. So if, if you have, uh, let's say you do 125%, well, he's going to get 25% more experience points uh, than everyone else. Very useful. Right here, you can give his attack, uh, his standard attacks, uh, a constant element to them. You can also give him um, a chance to inflict a state on the enemy when attacking. Attack speed basically uh, determines if he's going to attack first or not. Like uh, when you select the attack and all that uh, from the, the battle system. Attack times will determine how many times he attacks. Uh, zero is basically one, so uh, he doesn't attack any extra times. Uh, if you do one, then it attacks twice. If you do like two, then he attacks three times, and so on and so forth. He attacks one times higher uh, than the amount that you put. Uh, add skill type. If the class is not capable of using a certain skill type, which I'll be going over the next episode, um, then your character will be able to um, use it as well if you just set it here, the traits. Seal type would do kind of the exact opposite. If, if, if he's a, a class that can use certain magic spells, for example, um, but you don't want him to use them for some reason, like you can, you can ban that. Add skill basically allows you to add a skill specifically for that character um, that is not a part of a class, or that is if you want him to have it early, um, and so on and so forth. Seal skill basically does the same but opposite. It allows you to not uh, have the skill and do not and you're not going to be able to learn it equip weapon this will uh, allow the character to again dig outside of his class and equips uh, specific weapons should uh, the class not be able to equip armor the same thing he'll be able to equip armors that are not part of the class you can also lock the equipment so that the player cannot take the equipment off you can also seal the type which means uh, he won't be able to um, use I believe anything like at all like it completely prevents the equipment uh, of that slot I think slot type you can do normal or you can do dual wield normal will allow him to have a shield as well dual wield is kind of like two weapons it replaces shield with another weapon I believe uh, action times basically um, gives you the ability as you can see here in the little description box um, if you type 50 apparently the character has a 50% chance of acting twice uh, and a 25% of chance of acting three times. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think that that's to do in combination with the attack times. Attack times and action times. That way sometimes he can attack twice. Uh, sometimes he can, I'm not 100% sure. I've never actually used that before. Okay, so the special flag. Uh, as you can see here, we have auto battle, which kind of allows you to create an AI-based kind of thing, um, which allows your character uh, to automatically battle, obviously, hence auto battle. Uh, so that's like really good if you want to create a guest party member. Guard reduces the damage taken at a set rate. Substitute uh, character suffers attack in place of allies with less HP. So basically, he'll jump in. Uh, he'll jump in front of the attack uh, if someone's low on HP and they're about to get dunked on. Preserve TP basically. Um, allows you to kind of keep your TP for the next battle as well. Collapse effect, uh, this will determine how his animation is like when he uh, when he dies. You can do normal, boss, instant, or no disappear. He just kind of lays there. Okay, party ability. You can do encounter half where you only encounter half the enemies. You can encounter no enemies while a party member uh, is in the party. You can cancel the surprise, which would mean if you get jumped by an enemy, basically. Um, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like that. Like, you can actually, you can resist being surprise attacked. Uh, therefore, enemies will never be able to get the first sneak move on you. Raise Primitive. Basically, what that means is that gives you a higher chance of sneak attacking the enemy, I believe. Gold Double will uh, double the amount of gold that you get uh, during or after a battle. And Drop Item Double will double the amount of items that you get from a battle. And then here's the note. Uh, the note you can use for scripts, or you can, if you're working with a partner on the game, you can kind of leave a note uh, for your partner to read. 
But that's it for this episode. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.